what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel big dog red thanks so much for tuning in today we are down at the pittsburgh steelers and pittsburgh panthers stadium apparently they have a game coming up for the pittsburgh steelers so everything in the stadium is in go mode for the steelers uh it's a they obviously share a stadium and i walked to talk to some of the, the staff and asked them you know where they keep the the Pittsburgh memorabilia and they said they didn't have any of it the only stuff they had was some statues outside and this thing's huge by the way just to give you an idea I mean this thing is monstrously huge this doesn't do it justice this thing's still like two feet away from me it's huge um, I said I could walk around the grounds here <clears throat> and there's supposed to be a the Pittsburgh Panther statue or something out here. He said that's really all they have. Uh, so I ended up cutting that video a little bit short because I've had to walk all around the stadium. This is the Pittsburgh Panther Stadium. It's kind of a cool looking stadium, but uh, just thinking on the end, I just can't escape the idea that it looks like a giant double stack, triple, quadruple stack carousel. It's just kind of weird. Um, one of the things I also didn't know was that behind the stadium, there's a walkway tunnels this actually goes out to a really large river so it's a pretty cool little setup i can see how this would be this would be a fun little place to hang out uh however there, there is for some reason the only pittsburgh panther stuff that they have is all the way on the back side of the stadium now i mean you can make fun of them for saying hey you know i don't i don't blame them i hide that stuff too but it's kind of sad that a city the size of Pittsburgh can't even come up with its own stadium uh, for its college team. It's just, wow, you know, you got a full-blown NFL team here, but you can't come up with a stadium. And there's plenty of real estate around here, plenty of real estate. The uh, PPG Science Pavilion is right here. The Duskeny, or Duquesne, however you say it, incline is over on this giant hill over here. You can look that up if you want to. But this place just kind of seems like it belongs to the Pittsburgh Steelers and that they let their little brother's kids come over and play in their yard. This thing's not even facing the street. It's like facing the stadium. It's like, tell me you don't care about college football without telling me you don't care about college football. Ah, oh, what a letdown. I was really hoping it'd be a lot more to it than this. I love the history behind college football. I'm just disappointed. Kind of like how Dan Landing's gonna be, well, his fans. His team's gonna be disappointed, but they kind of already know. Dan Lanning definitely already knows. This is more and more, more and more of the Oregon fans keep talking about how they're gonna they're gonna beat Georgia. <laughs> uh, on the duck fish page for Oregon, uh, which is for real, a, it's a for real site. It really is. It's a real site. Duck fish, fish duck, something like that. You would think it'd be like a national wildlife reserve site or something, but it's not. It's a uh, story index. Dan Lanning. Dan Lanning's got people in the media bragging all over three-star recruits. <laughs> they can't wait to see Dan Lanning's defense, supposedly his defense, is the one that played against Georgia in practice all the time. So he already knows what to expect. He knows how good Todd Munkin is. And he knows he doesn't have the weapons or the defensive coordinator or the offensive coordinator to deal with Georgia. But he won't tell the fans that. Hell, he won't even tell them who the quarterback's going to be. Absolutely embarrassing. Embarrassing. I can't imagine that. For somebody to want to jump up and down, fan base-wise, and, and, and just go kill the dogs. Many have tried. Few have succeeded. And what's worse is you guys, a lot of the Oregon fans are talking about how we lost to Alabama in the SEC championship game. 
how in the world can you be an Oregon fan and, and be side saddling a win Alabama guy? I don't get it. Well, anyway, it's a beautiful day here in Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm headed out today. I'm going to get back and see my family, which I would be very happy to do. Uh, but I uh, just want to give you guys a little taste of the Pittsburgh Panther Stir or Steeler Thur Pittsburgh Panthers Stadium. If you're coming down here, if you're ever in Pittsburgh, you decide you want to come by the stadium and chat to college football, don't waste your time. They don't have a gift shop. They don't have anything showing off their records, culture, history, nothing. It's a waste, a waste of time. Do better, Pittsburgh. Have a great day. God bless. Go dogs.